Hello and welcome. We have round 18 of the Dice Footy Championships here for you all today. These are the results from last round and this is the ladder um, as it currently stands. Adelaide, for the first time this year, I do believe, actually got off the bottom of the ladder. Geelong take their spot. Um, a few other moves being made, but that top eight is finally starting to take shape 17 rounds into the uh, about time. Um, if you do enjoy this one, drop a like and subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into it. First game of the round, it is the Bulldogs taking on St Kilda. Two sides in the top eight. St Kilda have just newly joined. The Bulldogs have consolidated that top eight spot. Um, and Or top two spot, should I say. Um, and quite possibly the top spot. Um, second quarter by the Bulldogs after a pretty strong start. It has sort of turned to shit. And St Kilda are let back in the, into the game. And uh, they do lead at half-time. So really putting the Bulldogs to the test here um, with, you know, a big challenging effort by them. Um, the Bulldogs in the third quarter do pretty well, replicate their first quarter. But the St Kilda Saints are switched on in this game. And um, they are up at three-quarter time. Lost my voice there just a little bit. Um, last quarter by the Bulldogs is pretty good, so they are in with a shot, but St Kilda, I mean, they don't need to do much to win this game, and they pick up the win comfortably. So the Saints pick up the victory 121 to 99. Second game of the round is Adelaide taking on Collingwood, and Adelaide have been in much better form as of recent times. They start this one off with a lot of scoring shots, but not too many goals out of that lot, and the Pies take advantage. They lead at quarter time. Second quarter for the Crows is, yeah, back to old times. For them, one goal, two. Very reminiscent of that early season form, which was absolutely horrific. And the Pies, well, they look in a very commanding position. Third quarter for the Crows, not awful, not great. Um, should I say it was actually really shit. So what am I talking about? Sugarcoating things. And the Pies, well, it looks like this they've got this one sewn up. Um, the Crows haven't been switched on at all from the first bounce today. And um, they end on 10 goals, 13, which doesn't even match Collingwood's three-quarter time score, which means this is a little bit of a percentage boost for the Pies, and they win this one comfortably. Next up is GWS taking on Brisbane, and GWS have been pretty mediocre all season, and they pick up right where they left off by kicking one goals three in that first quarter. And the Lions, well, you would have thought they'd start a little bit better given they're a second-placed or ranked side. And uh, they only lead by eight points a quarter time. And the Giants, well, they take full advantage of that in the second quarter. Six goals, five, pretty much the maximum. But Brisbane, they have the same amount of shots on goal and um, do lead at halftime. So... Five goals, six for them. The Giants have actually had a really good middle two periods here. And um, it looks like they could have a lead at three-quarter time, which they do. So this could be a major upset and could potentially suck Brisbane right back into that log jam in the middle part of the table. However, the Giants do not close out strongly. Pretty much as poor as the first quarter. And the Giants, or oh, the Lions, oh my goodness. The Lions have absolutely come out of nowhere and picked up the W by kicking the absolute maximum. They win by 10. The importance of playing four quarters was stressed in that last match, and um, if Richmond are to have any hope of winning this game, they're gonna have to do a lot better than GWS did in those first and last quarters. They start off much, much better, and they kick five goals, five. That's the art of dice footy. Anything can happen. You can be 18th playing first and still win. It doesn't even matter who you're playing. Um, how badly you've started. You can easily kick two bags of six goals, six, and everything will be all right. However, Richmond, that second quarter, was a little bit lackluster, and um, North lead at half time. Let's see if they lead at three-quarter time. They kick three goals, one in that third quarter, and Richmond kick the exact same thing, so it sets up a grandstand finish. North Melbourne lead by eight points. Here we go. Big quarter needed from them. And um, it's not the most eye-catching, but they've got enough points on the board to get the W here. Richmond, yeah, typical. Absolutely typical. That's why they are 16th on the table 
and they do exactly what GWS did last game. Loses by 26. Next up is Carlton taking on Geelong. Geelong ultimately um, went into last position last game. Let me get the cursor on. As we were saying before that interval, um, they are last place. They, I mean, they've been holding on to 17th position all year long, um, but ultimately, you know, it finally happened. They started the exact same way that Richmond did against North. Let's see if, um, you know, they can have a bit of a different fortune. And um, they will be able to get off the bottom of the ladder if they can pick up the victory. But that second quarter, I mean, had a lot of shots on goal, but weren't able to convert nearly enough. Man, Carlton are really trying to lose this game. Um, they want to give Geelong 17, 17th spot. And, um, well... They're in pole position to do exactly that now. And the Blues, while well, that is a very strong last quarter by them, it will test Geelong. They need to kick 21 points to tie it. And um, they've been renowned for choking games. However, they have picked up much needed four points over Carlton. Who would have thought? Eight point winners. And there were the laws of dice footy kicking in right there. Any team can win. Um, we have Fremantle Sydney now. This is going to be an absolutely amazing game to watch in real life. I honestly wouldn't be able to pick a winner. However, in this game, it is uh, pretty dire to start things off in this dice footy match. And um, Fremantle have only kicked four goals, five and a half. So not great by them. Sydney, obviously, we've said it in numerous episodes of this. Um, they have fallen off dramatically. They do lead at halftime. Um... They need to pick up this victory. It is extremely needed. Three goals, six for the Dockers in the third quarter isn't awful. The Swannies tied up. So whoever kicks the next biggest score or the biggest score in this quarter wins. And well, Sydney do not have much wiggle room um, to, you know, win this game. It's going to be incredibly tough. They need to kick five goals, six or more. Here we go. And they don't even get close. Two goals won for them. They lose another game. They slide even further. And Fremantle could be back in the eight. Next up, we've got fourth place West Coast taking on Hawthorne away from home. Hawthorne, I mean, they've been in this mediocre part of the table for pretty much the whole year long. Um, 14th place, you're not competing for draft picks. You're not competing for um, finals. You're just there. You're just existing. West Coast haven't really started that well. Um, on the offensive side of the ball, but defensively it's been exceptional and um, they have a chance to break away here. It's not probably the biggest of advantages they would have liked. They still lead by three goals. They still have the ascendancy and um, Hawthorne just can't buy one. They cannot buy one. And um, West Coast, here we go. Okay, well, it looks like the game is done and dusted now. They have kicked 12 goals, eight. They've kicked clear of Hawthorne and... Um, Hawthorne were never in a position to kick a winning score um, after those very poor quarters to start the game and the Eagles just consolidate on what is a very solid win. So they'll be getting a lot of percentage out of this. We've got Melbourne and we've got Port Adelaide. I believe this game is taking place in Darwin. Um, Melbourne start off three goals, four. They needed to win. They need to win. And um, Port Adelaide, well, they've started a little bit better. They are ahead of the eight ball so far. And uh, they lead by two goals. Second quarter, not bad by the Ds. They, well, not bad, I think, is an understatement. Not much room for improvement. Um, Port Adelaide, they will lead at halftime, though. Only marginally. Let me fix that up. Whoa. Okay, so four goals, five for them. In the second quarter, lead by two points. Third quarter by the Ds isn't as flashy as the first or the second. Um, and the power, well... I would have said they had an opportunity to blow this game wide open, but they're actually trailing at three-quarter time. Here we go. The Ds. Three goals, three. I don't know if that's enough, but they had the lead and they still hold it. So here we go. The Port need four goals. I don't know what the Port is, but oh my goodness, it's a one-point loss. It is a one-point... Hold on a second. Yeah, it is a one-point loss. Ds hold on in drastic or dramatic fashion. Winners by a point. Honestly, my reaction didn't really align with the result, but we've got one game to go, and it is Essendon taking on the third place Suns. Who would have ever thought that, or even said that? Um, I don't think anyone's ever muttered those words. 
Gold Coast with a great start. And the second quarter is pretty good by the Bombers. They needed that quarter. And they are at 8 goals 7 at half time. And the Suns, well, great first quarter. Couldn't be any further in the second quarter from that standard. And um, trail, by half, or trail by 8 points at half time. Third quarter by the Bombers, 10 goals 11. Eh, it's not great. And the Suns, well, they get the lead back despite that terrible middle quarter. And um, they are 12 goals 8. So only up by 9 points, but 9 points nonetheless. And the Bombers... It's not a bad score. Here we go. The Suns, well, they have just choked it at the final hurdle. They've kicked the absolute bare minimum. And the Bombers have created an unlikely upset. All right, and this is the ladder as it currently stands after round 18. Um, Geelong got back off the bottom of the ladder. North Melbourne have entered the top four. Amazingly enough, despite West Coast and North being absolutely shit in real life, they're both in the top four in this dice footy sim. Um, Port Adelaide have dropped down to the bottom portion of the top eight. Um, Carlton are continuously sliding as well, so they're following suit with what Sydney are doing. Um, and the Bulldogs, well, they lost, so they've just reopened the door for Brisbane to potentially take the top spot. Um, West Coast are also gaining out of absolutely nowhere after they were in, you know, that 11th, 12th place for pretty much a lot of the season. So they've picked up some really good form recently. If you did enjoy this one, drop a like and subscribe. This is the weekly thing, 4 p.m. every Thursday. You know the deal. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.